Welcome to Savannah, people. Hope that it doesn't burn my skin off. It looks crazy, but I promise at the end, it's gonna look less insane. Prejudging is looking pretty good. Much needed for my mental health to improve my placing. It is show day, September 10th. I'm gonna turn this down so I don't get copy written. Uh, we woke up feeling good. I'll put some photos in here for you guys. And we just did another base coat of tan. So I do DIY pro tan. And the night before, this is how I do my pro tan to make it look nice and dark so that I am looking nice and bronzy on stage and you can see all the muscles all the things uh the night before the show like right literally friday so last night and i'm making my breakfast as always and i'll talk about my food a little bit and what we do in peak week and all the things um right before i go to bed on friday i'll do two coats of base the first coat is just a normal base coat. They have different types of protein. I'll do a normal overnight base coat. And then the second coat is super dark. I will sleep in that. It's a super dark, um, super dark base coat tan. I will sleep in that. And then I wake up and I do a quick rinse, like no soap, just like a super quick rinse, 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 just to get any of the like imbalances from sleeping, any blotchiness off. And then I will do dry, obviously, and do one more top coat of normal base. That is how we do the base. Then I will normally do my hair, my makeup. If I'm getting my hair and makeup done by somebody, I'll go do that. And then I come back, get everything done, packed, ready to go. And then right before we leave for the venue, I will do three coats of super dark, three times it's called three times darker super dark uh top coat and it's like a little mousse it's very difficult for me to find i don't know why protan used to sell it on their website and now it's always sold out so if you cannot find it on protan this sounds crazy but i literally order it from any random brand from China crazy online shop that has it and hope that it doesn't burn my skin off and, <laughs> and we, we do the best with with what we can get in um, but it works really well and my tan always looks good and that was my feedback after Nashville she was like who did your tan and I was like oh me and my mom <laughs> and we do it every time so it always turns out good and then um, I like doing it also because it's less stress. I don't have to worry about, oh my God, I have to be at this tan appointment at this time, blah, blah, blah. So, and the cool thing is the last couple of vlogs I've sucked at actually vlogging. And I think it's because I've had all these appointments and they were stressing me out. And in my head, I was like, I have to be here at this time, here at this time. The cool thing for this show is I'm doing my tan, I'm doing my own hair and I'm doing my own makeup. So... I don't gotta be nowhere, I just gotta do my own shit. So I'll bring you guys along uh, for show day, the best that I can, much better than the last couple shows. 
right now I am just having 200 grams of cottage cheese. This is a pretty early show, so I won't be eating a ton before I step on stage. But this is my first meal. It's 530. Um, 200 grams of cottage cheese and 50 grams of grapes. And the reason why I'm eating this is because I've been eating this same exact meal every single day for the past, like, six weeks. So for peak week, for show day, I keep everything the same. I don't throw any weird variables in. I don't do anything weird and crazy. So normal cottage cheese and grapes. And then in about two or three hours, like, probably like 7.30 right before we leave. Because I probably won't go on until 9.30. But like 7.30... Right before we leave, I will do my normal, as always, my cream of rice uh, with 15 grams of cookie butter and jelly, and then probably like 30 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour before stage, I will do one single rice cake probably with some cookie butter on it, and that will be all that I eat before I step on stage. And then my meals after that before finals, which is 4 p.m., are going to be the normal meals that I eat on a normal everyday regular basis steak potato which is it's going to be a white potato just has been digesting better than sweet potatoes some for some reason this year um white potato steak ketchup that's it maybe two meals depending on where I'm at but probably just one because I want to stay pretty empty and it depends on our call out so we will see what happens. So I'm going to eat this. I'm going to enjoy my coffee, relax a little bit, and get my makeup done by myself. And then, yeah, bring you guys with me for a show day. Enjoy the vlog. All right, let's start on our makeup. I'm going to take you guys through a couple steps. Sorry that the lighting is literal dog shit. Worst lighting ever in this hotel room. I don't know why. It's a Spring Hill Suites thing, maybe. I don't freaking know. Um, but I started by just kind of laminating my brows with, and I'm not going to take you guys through every single product that I use. I'm just going to take you through the steps and the process that I personally do. Uh, I don't know where my brow laminating thing went. Too Faced is the brand. Fluff and Hold. So I start with that. I let that dry while I drink my coffee and eat my breakfast. Speaking of coffee... I'm gonna go grab that. All right, and on that note, we're gonna start on our brows. So I'm gonna do brows, um, and then I'm going to outline them with a little bit of foundation. So let's get that rolling. All right, brows are etched out, so they're pretty aggressive, but you have to remember that we are doing stage makeup, not real human life makeup. So I went ahead and etched them out. Uh, they're pretty aggressive, and then I put foundation around them. Now we are going to do our eyeshadow and then our face and then the rest of the thing. So let's start on some eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using a burnt orange palette. And I have a better burnt orange palette, but I keep forgetting it. So this is the one that we're gonna use, and I'm also gonna use some colors out of this Morphe palette. So let's get to it. So the goal here is I'm starting with more of a red, and then I'm going to blend an orange in. Right now it looks crazy, but in the end, I promise it will look less crazy. So we have more of like a burnt orange base, and then we're gonna go in with this Stella um, like shimmer eyeshadow on the lid. And it looks crazy, but I promise at the end, it's gonna look less insane. Promise. All right, now we're gonna clean it up because I have a lot on the edges here, and then we are going to paint our face with a combination of this and this. Again, sounds crazy, but I promise. It'll all work out.
powder. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some bronzer and this right here is a little weird blotch. So I'm gonna see how I can blend that out. Um, but I'm not a makeup artist, I just do the best I can with what I got and how I know how. So yeah, let's get in here with some bronzy bronze. Oh yeah, that'll cover it up for sure. We're going to contour our nose. We go back in with some more translucent powder. Gonna go in with some blush. Let's do under eyeliner black and then we'll do a little bit of the burnt orange under here and then some mascara and then lips. Okay, so we have the um, eyeliner under here, but do you see how harsh it looks? I'm going to show you how to fix that. You're going to grab one of the darker colors that you used for up here and we're going to use this red, this like darker red color and put it right underneath the waterline so that it kind of blends it out a little bit. I don't know why my camera just decides to be blurry for the rest of its life, but let's see what we got. Let's do the red. Do you already see the difference here? Look. Right? It's just a little bit underneath. Right? So much better. And then we also are going to do some mascara on the lower lid and that's going to help too. Before we do mascara, I'm going to do some wing liner just following my eyeshadow all the way down. And now we can see it slowly coming together. I'm going to touch up my eyebrows a little bit and maybe one day my camera will focus. Touch up my eyebrows a little bit. I'm going to do a little more translucent powder, try to fix this little kind of thing here, um, and then put some lips on and we are good. Then we're doing hair. All right, that's the face, that is the eyeshadow, and I'll get in better light for you guys. Now we're gonna do a lip. For the liner, we're gonna do like a darker mauve kind of look. And then last time they said it was a little dark, so I'm gonna go with a little bit lighter of a color and then put some um, shimmer translucent to brighten it up a little bit. So let's do this lip. All right, hair and makeup done. I have a little bit of dry shampoo that I'm gonna put in there a little better. Try to get some good lighting in here so you guys can see it's finally bright out. We're gonna head to the venue, do a little posing practice there, get some videos for Paul since he's not here. We are blue suit this weekend, number 59. Catch you guys there.
from La Plata, Maryland, Anne Marie Lawrence. people got a pup date for you so pre-judging is looking pretty good I'm back at the room I am keeping it tight for finals we just eat the normal food that we normally eat like I told you earlier so I have steak potatoes ketchup like always same 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 always been eating the same thing for the past like six weeks so pre-judging it's looking like seventh or eighth I'm excited because first call out just lit my fire a little bit more because I'm not gonna lie if you watch my past two YouTubes show day YouTubes I was a little getting a little getting a little sassy there get a little upset and I was like maybe this isn't for me I'm sad 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 and now I'm just like whoo I needed that I was just telling mom I needed that I really needed that that's gonna help my momentum through the rest of the season because I really want to do as much as my as much as I can and bring the best I can because this is like I said before gonna be my last season for a very very long time so why not go out with a bang but anyway I'm excited I'm happy and I am super pumped for finals and I'll keep you guys updated on how finals goes but that's where we're at right now I'm super super happy couldn't be happier I'm gonna eat this meal I'm gonna relax watch some Bridgington if you're not watching that it's a really good series and then yeah keep it tight for finals head to finals see what happens get feedback and do it again okay see you later bye For the victory lap though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Lit the room when I came through the front door. Ask me if I should suffer come, what for? Train in the trees, please walk my sycamore. Touch burning sands, cross lands and Still me sure, sure, seasons in the year, yeah. Ain't no channel for champions and chain no fear. Yup, the champions here, yeah. switch gears. We keep the haters in the rear. At the blood, sweat, and tears, and my goal so near. I see my victory so clear. I see my victory so clear. And today, we break through. 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 people it is Tuesday after my show 
and I couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier with how the weekend went. Had an absolute blast. It was much needed for my mental health to improve my placing. First show, we got 17th. Second show, we got 15th. And this show, crushing it and getting eighth. That makes me so happy, improving every single show. I mean, ah, oh, I needed that because we fucking pushed. We pushed hard to make this happen. So I'm really, really happy, but not satisfied. And I'm ready to keep cranking it out going into this last and final, potentially final show of the season. So here's the plan, people. And I'll tell you my feedback and what, what we're gonna do here. I got home Sunday, I was feeling kinda ugh, feeling kinda gross, and I'm like, oh, that's not good. Started to feel a little congested, woke up yesterday morning with a killer sinus infection, and I was like, oh no, I hope this isn't COVID. It's not, I tested two times to see and make sure that I didn't have COVID. So it's just a killer sinus infection. I was like, headache, body aches, fucking my brain had so much pressure yesterday. I was super congested, but I took a ton of vitamins, ton of meds yesterday. Woke up feeling a little bit dizzy, so I didn't train yet. I'm about to go train now. Um, adjusted my macros accordingly for having like a rest day but I am gonna train. It's like 5.30 on Tuesday. I wasn't gonna train, but now I am gonna train. I'm feeling a lot, lot better. So thankfully, my body has gotten rid of this sinus infection pretty quick. So the game plan is to do a little bit of a diet break this week. I'll check in with Coach Paul on Friday and see what he says. I'm making the assumption that he is going to have us push next week. Uh, probably this weekend a little bit and then reverse diet us up again and then push again and then reverse diet us into the Ben Weeder show because we have officially three weeks. I think that our biggest focus is to bring something a little bit leaner. So potentially trying to lose one or two more pounds to see what we can do there. Um, but pumping up these glutes a little bit because I was feeling like I was losing my glutes there for a second and honestly my glutes looked a little bit flat on stage in my personal opinion I'll put up some photos so leaner but fuller especially in the glutes so that's kind of the game plan here um, that's pretty much the feedback that I got sharper glutes but fuller so that's what we are that's what we are gonna do and try to bring the best look possible to this Ben Weeder show. It is the only IFBB drug tested show. So I think it's top five gets drug tested. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'm really, really happy about that because um it's it's tough keeping up with these girls man i'm not gonna fucking lie this shit's been tough and i'm trying to keep up as much as i can but my body's taking a beating right now and i'm literally exhausted and i think that being sick sunday monday and then now like slowly getting over the sickness today i think my body finally is like emory slow down take a break and i think it's more that than anything so Rest day Sunday, rest day yesterday, and I was gonna rest today, but now I'm feeling better. So in Amory fashion, I'm gonna go do some cardio and get a lift in. I adjusted my macros accordingly. I'm still feeling a little congested, but definitely better than I was. So yeah, here's the plan. We're gonna do Ben Weeder. We were gonna do Fort Lauderdale show this coming weekend, but it was too much of a push, so I was like, nah, let's not, and I'm actually glad that I didn't submit that contract since I have a freaking sinus infection right now. Um, so we have three weeks until Ben Weeder, which is September 30th. It's on a Friday, September 30th. And then after that, if we win that show, fingers crossed, if we win that show, we get to go to the Olympia, which is in December, which is freaking insane. But if we don't, then we don't. And it is what it is and we move on and that will wrap up our season so it really all depends on what happens at this next show it's gonna be a little bit different because it's completely different judges than we've seen it's an all-natural show so there's all natural competitors here no one's gonna be on anything that I know of 
supposedly. Uh, and we're gonna do do the best we can and, and bring the best package that we have to stage ever in life and finish out with a bang. So I'm really excited. I feel good. Three weeks, three weeks to bring the best we have ever brought. And that's it. And that's it. And that's it. That's it. It like, it feels so weird to say, but that is it for life people. That's what we got. And then we focus in on family and travel and business and all the things. It feels weird. It feels so like unreal to even say, but this potentially could be the last show I ever do in my entire life. Weird. So weird. So we might as well give it all we got, even though I'm feeling kind of ugh, kind of gross today. I'm gonna go train. I'm feeling better than I did yesterday, so I feel good enough to push. And yeah, thank you guys for joining me on my journey. I hope that I did a little bit better of a job this time at vlogging this one. I think that I did, uh, especially getting my makeup and all that good stuff. I'm sure that that was helpful for you guys. And um, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss an upload from me again. And also the really cool thing is I'm going to have Alina, who's my videographer, follow me around for this Alexandria vlog since it's the show day vlog, since it's literally in my backyard. And so we'll get a ton of footage for that show. And that's what I got for you guys. I'm going to go do cardio. I'm going to go train some upper body and take some more medicine and go to bed. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.